welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an intro for Project Pan Roses Are Red. This project's in collab with my friend Rachel as well as my friend Kena here on YouTube. Uh, Kena is the creator of this project. She invited us and uh, Alexi, I'll have everybody everybody's channel in the description box. And I also have my friend Valerie joining on this project. I'll have her Instagram handle in the description box as well. So. This project is a little unique. Uh, I'm really excited for that because I, I've never really done a project like this. There are 14 prompts to choose from. Uh, I actually will be doing randomly. So what Kena did is she found these uh, Valentine's Day related quotes and she interpreted them um, in a way that they would be related to some products that we would like to pan. Uh, in this case, this is going to be a four month project with monthly updates. Uh, we're going to do five products at a time. Uh, the goal would be to either hit ban, finish the product, or to use 14 times. Once you use it as many times as you want, or you finish it, you roll it out, and you bring a new product in. Uh, I think most of mine are going to be 14 uses for each product unless like I choose some category and it's like okay I can find a product that I actually can pan or finish so then I'll, I'll make that decision but uh, without further ado this is a really long intro I know tried to explain it as best as I could uh, please feel free to join in if you want uh, just email Kena or uh, uh, send her a message. Again, I'll have her YouTube channel in the description box. You can just check out her channel, leave her a message on the video, the intro, and you're more than welcome to join us, whether YouTube or Instagram. So, the 14 prompts, what I ended up doing is, or the 14 quotes, I uh, took what Kena interpreted them as, and then I inputted that into like a random wheel generator. And I'm just gonna roll for five of them. I'll tell you what the product is and then I'll tell you what the quote related, like relate that relates to it, what it actually says, or I'll have them in the description box just so I can get through this pretty quick. Um, so here are my 14 items. Ooh, my phone is dirty. Holy moly. Uh, excuse me. Um, it is what it is, I guess. So <laughs> here they are, all 14, and then I'm going to go ahead and roll. I did have it to uh, not uh, give uh, like duplicates or, you know, once it rolls something out, it's not going to roll it again. Uh, the first one I got is something weird. Let's roll again. I guess I should have showed you that. And then a product that makes you feel confident. So weird, confident. A skincare product. Two more. A pro a marbled product or products that you mix. Hmm. And then the last one is a multi-purpose product. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and look at my collection for products that would fit these categories, and I will be back to show you what products I chose and whether my goal is going to be 14 uses or finishing the product or what. So, be back! Alrighty, so I went ahead and chose the products that I'm going to be working on. I think for all five of them I will be doing just 14 uses. Uh, I'm going to keep track of how many times I use them and then my next update, which will be a month from now, on November 14, I'll let you know if I've met my goal or if I'm going to be rolling something else in or not. Uh, the first product for a marbled product, I went ahead and chose this guy. This is by Laura Geller. This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation and the shade is Golden Medium. This has that marbly, uh, like, uh, you know, it's kind of like different shades in there. I do mix it, obviously have to mix it, apply it all over my face. I actually really like this product. Now I'd like to get some more use out of it. Um, I can use it to set my foundation. Uh, especially if I'm a little tan because this is a good, you know, shade to uh, deepen up a little bit lighter foundations. Uh, the next product was a multi-use product and for that I picked the nude, the nude, the nude sticks, 
can't can't talk nude sticks nudies all over face color this is the matte cream for lips eyes and cheek and the shade is naughty and spice I actually really like this guy as a blush um, I have used it a couple times as an eyeshadow and on my lips it's really beautiful this guy is just a little um, mini there's a lot of product in here but I don't think I can finish it uh, you really don't need much so I am gonna stick to the 14 uses but this is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. It's really easy to blend um, on the skin as a blush. Uh, gives a really beautiful flush to the face. I really, again, like it as a um, like a one shadow eyeshadow look. I like it like that. So I'm just gonna use it 14 times. Any combination that I wanna use it, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, the third item was a skincare item. And for that, I decided to go ahead and pull this guy in. I used it a couple times when I first bought it, but I haven't used it since. And this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base um, Shea Butter Vitamin C and E. Uh, this is, I don't think that this is supposed to be necessarily a primer uh, or a moisturizer. It's kind of like an in-between thing. It is very rich formula. And I think like I'm starting to get to the point where my skin is drying up a little bit. Um, the change in weather and all that. I'm not as oily. It's not as hot. So I think this is like the perfect time to reach for this guy. I will be using it kind of as a skincare item, not just to prime my face. Or maybe as both. Depends on what foundation I'll be wearing. But this is the product that I want to concentrate on. Again, like I, I've barely used this guy. There's hardly any use in it. And this really wasn't a cheap item. <laughs> So I would like to get some use out of it. Uh, for item number four, a product that is weird, I went ahead and pulled this guy in. I don't think I've ever talked about this guy in, on my channel. I've had it for quite some time since these came out and this is the Revolution by Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter and I have the shade uh, Prestigious. This guy is really weird. I mean, look at that. That is, that is, a, that is a jelly highlighter. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to see if it's dried out. No, I think, hmm, maybe it's kind of dried out. No, I still get some, it's not, um, I still get some product and it's actually here. Yeah. So it's just like that formula is just so weird. I mean, look at that. It's bouncy. It's not as bouncy as the ColourPop like uh, Super Shock Shadows or anything like that, but that's what it is. Uh, it's weird in like texture kind of thing. I do really like the color. I do really like the shade. I do like how glossy it is. It does give a really nice gloss to the high points of the, you know, high points of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and use this guy 14 times. I think this is going to be hard to use it 14 times in a month, but I'm going to try my best. And then the last item was an item that makes you feel confident. Uh, I love red lipsticks. It's like definitely my favorite things to wear and I always feel confident in red lipsticks, probably why I own a million of them, but there's one product in particular that I really would like to get some use out of or some more use out of before it goes bad because I've had it for a while and I remember like every time I use it, I just love how it looks on my skin, my skin tone, the color, um, and this is the Tarte Tarte Slip Paint and the shade is Bay. I've had it for a while, so I really would like to use it some more again before it goes bad but this is one of my favorite favorite lipsticks um well can't say that i have a lot of favorite le red lipsticks but here it is it's stunning it's really beautiful on it is a cool tone uh like red so it makes my teeth look super white and um i think it's starting to get bad because uh leaks a little bit of oil <laughs> So I better use it. Maybe this would be a product that with the 14 uses, it will be empty or gone bad by that point. Anyways, so this is the project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of the project? Would you like to join? You're more than welcome to do that. Check the description box for everyone, everyone who's collaborating on this project. I'll have their channels there or Instagram handle. I also have the quotes and which ones I uh, related to the products that I picked. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.